Hi guys, Cinematic Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American action and drama movie, called The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, starring Nicolas Cage. The movie begins with the kidnapping of a young woman named Maria, who is watching a movie with her boyfriend. Unfortunately, her boyfriend is killed in the process, while Maria is abducted after failing to escape her home. In Los Angeles, a Hollywood actor, Nicolas Cage, is driving to a hotel to meet a director. Apparently, he asks the director for a movie role because he is struggling with his career after being passed over for several major movie roles, but the director still does not want to hear anything from him. He is also constantly pestered and tormented by Nicky, who appears to him as his younger and more successful self. Apart from that, his relationship with his ex-wife, Olivia, and daughter, Addie, has also been strained due to years of emotional neglect. Later, Olivia asks him to attend Addie's birthday party, so she would not hate him even more. Nick then goes to a spa with his agent, Richard, to relieve his stress. While getting their backs whipped, Richard tells him about a vague offer of $1 million that involves going to Mallorca to meet a billionaire playboy and to be the guest of honor at his birthday. However, Nick is not interested at the time, even though he is $600,000 in debt. After that, he goes to Addie's birthday party, where he receives a phone call from Richard informing him that the role was given to someone else. Infuriated, a drunken Nick hijacks the party and humiliates his daughter as he plays the piano and sings a song for Addie. After the party is over, Nick is escorted home by Olivia who asks him to resolve his problem with Addie. In desperation, he calls Richard and says that he will take the vague offer and quit his job afterwards. The next day, Nick flies to Mallorca, where two CIA agents, Martin and Vivian, are waiting at the airport to find a local crime boss who is supposed to get off the plane, but they are surprised to see Nicolas Cage there. Thus, Martin aborts their scouting mission and tells Vivian to get out of there, but she does not want to obey his orders. Instead, she approaches Nick and greets him as a fan. While asking for a photo with him, Vivian slips a tracker into his jacket pocket so they can track him down later. Nick then meets the billionaire, Javi, who had hired him. Javi is a true fan of Nick and he says that he wants Nick to be involved in one of the movies he is about to make. He then introduces his cousin, Lucas, and his assistant, Gabriella, who also flatters Nick's abilities as a legend from the movie industry. The next morning, Javi takes Nick to see the famous cliffs in Spain. On the middle of their way, Javi suddenly stops the car and says that something is urgent, asking Nick to run away from the car. Apparently, it is only a scene from his script. Nick is initially annoyed at him, but Javi keeps reminding him of his acting skills and asking him not to stop acting. As a result, he follows Javi's motivation words, and the two take a high jump off the cliffs into the sea. When they get back to the shore, the two of them quickly bond over their surprisingly shared love of movies, such as The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Paddington 2. At night, Nick goes to a bar to get drunk. While walking home, he is suddenly hauled into a van by the CIA agents. Vivian explains that they suspect Javi is behind the kidnapping of Maria, who turns out to be the daughter of a Catalan anti-crime politician. With that, the kidnappers hope that her father will drop out of an upcoming election. Because of this, the agents want Nick to find out more information about Javi and prove their suspicions. At first, Nick does not want to be involved in this mission, but he eventually decides to help the CIA with the mission after Vivian gets in his head by making him think about how he would feel if Addie were in Maria's position. After that, Nick is tasked to secretly rig the cameras in Javi's compound during a party hosted by him. In the middle of his mission, a guard is heading towards his room. The agents order him to use the drug to paralyze the guard, but Nick accidentally rubs the drug onto his head and begins to become paralyzed. Meanwhile, Martin and Vivian continue to guide him away from the incoming guard while leading him to the room where the antidote is. Unfortunately, Nick passes out before he can inject the antidote into himself. Vivian then thinks quickly how to wake him up, and she ends up yelling action, which prompts Nick's acting instincts to kick in and gives him a rush to inject himself with the antidote, allowing him to successfully rig the cameras in the house. However, his mission does not end there. Vivian tells him that he has to stay in the compound longer so they have more time to find Maria. Nick then goes back downstairs and joins the party, where he announces his collaboration with Javi on a new movie. The following day, the agents get a probable location for Maria, and Vivian asks Nick to check the location straight away. As he tries to find his way to the location, Nick runs into Javi, who asks him to trip out around the town. Due to the effects of LSD, they hallucinate that the people around are watching them, causing them to run away in paranoia. Furthermore, both of them also act like they are playing in a movie. When they return to Javi compound, 
Nick discovers that Javi keeps a shrine room dedicated to all of his past movies, including a wax figure of his character Caster Troy from the movie Face Slash Off, complete with the identical golden guns. Therefore, Nick is impressed with all the collections and finds it difficult to betray Javi, believing that he is not the kidnapper. However, Vivian still convinces him to stay close to him and try to work the kidnapping into their script, so that he could potentially reveal where Maria is. When Nick explains his new idea of a kidnap subplot, Javi takes it as Nick has gone bankrupt, and possibly has issues with his family that he needs to sort out. Because of that, Javi secretly brings Olivia and Addie to his compound from Los Angeles. Unluckily, they are frightened and angered over what is happening, thinking it is just another ridiculous plot in his attempt to restart his career. Nick is still trying to make amends with them, but they reject his appeal and accuse him of prioritizing his movie career over his family. On the other hand, Javi privately goes to meet Lucas, who is revealed to be the one who kidnapped Maria under the orders of Sergio, the local crime boss that Martin and Vivian track down. Lucas also warns him that Nick is working with the CIA and pressures him to kill Nick, or else Lucas will kill Javi. Meanwhile, Vivian calls Nick and orders him to get rid of Javi so the agents can arrange an escape plan for him and his family. Nick finally tells his ex-wife the truth that he works for the CIA and orders her to get ready to escape the place. The following morning, Nick and Javi drive together into the woods, where the two have a standoff with each other. However, they cannot bring themselves to kill each other as they have grown so close all this time. Unluckily, Lucas sends his men after both of them, forcing Nick and Javi to fight them back. They end up racing back to the house only to discover that Addie has been kidnapped. After that, Nick takes Javi, Olivia, and Gabriella to the CIA safe house, which turns out to have been compromised by Lucas' men. Sadly, Martin has been killed, while Vivian sacrifices herself to kill the thugs before they can ambush the group. That night, they try to devise a plan to get the girls back. With Javi's help, Nick and Olivia pose as a reclusive criminal couple to get close to Lucas. Nick also uses his acting skills to overpower the thugs and the two eventually manage to locate Addie and Maria, but then they are found out by the guards. Long story short, all of them are able to escape while Javi and Gabriella stay behind to buy time. They race to the American embassy with Lucas still in pursuit. Once there, Lucas manages to hold Nick at gunpoint, but Addie tosses his father a knife which Nick uses to kill him, transitioning into the movie that Nick and Javi completed, which presumably based on their recent adventure. A few years later, Javi's movie is produced with Nick in the main role, and Nick is applauded for his acting performance. Afterwards, he congratulates Javi, expressing his pride in their new movie. The movie ends with Nick going home happily with his family to watch Paddington 2, and it is clear they have a better relationship now. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.